let's get started with factor trees and I'll go over some tips and tricks. Let's begin with what are factors? Factors are numbers you multiply together in order to get a product. For example, if you have four, then two times two equals four. Or say we have six, then the factors are two times three, okay? Next, a prime number has exactly two factors, one and itself. Now, I have found it helpful whenever you do a factor tree that you learn the following prime numbers. Two, three, five, seven, and 11. Now, a composite number is a number that has additional factors. And you can get every composite number by multiplying a single set of prime numbers together. So all prime factorization is, is finding the prime numbers that multiply to a given composite number. So that's how a factor tree helps. So let's begin with eight, okay? So I'm gonna rewrite the eight. Now, tip number one, anytime a number is even, I always just start with two because two's easy to divide with. So um, two times four is equal to eight and I circle the prime number. Okay, I'm going to do this so it's not quite as confusing. Next, I have a prime number here, so let's focus on the 4. We have 2 times 2 equals 4. Okay, the factors of 4 are 2 times 2. Now, I am down to prime numbers, so I am finished. So, the prime numbers of 8 would be 2, 2, times 2. 2 times 2 times 2. Now, a couple of rules for writing it. You generally write it from smallest to largest. Since it's all the same, you just write 2's. Or you could rewrite this in exponential form, and that would be 2. And then how many 2's do we have? 1, 2, 3, 2 to the third. So let's try another factor tree. Okay, I chose 21 for another tip. I generally, if it's an odd number, then I usually just try three at first, okay? So in this instance, I know that the factors are three times seven equals 21. And I'm gonna circle the three, and remember the numbers that I said will be helpful for you to know, two, three, five, seven, and 11. So seven is a prime number. So I am down to prime numbers, so I'm finished. So the prime fact or the prime factors of 21 would be three times seven or three and seven. Notice I'm writing it from the smallest to the largest. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, here is my next tip. Whenever I get a number that ends in five or zero works, I begin with the number five. And so I know that five times times 25 are the factors of 125. I'm going to circle 5 because it's a prime number. Now we have 25. And I know the factors of 25 are 5 times 5. And once again, we are down now down to prime numbers. So we are finished. Now let's write it. So we have 5 times 5 times 5. Or, you know, you could read, rewrite it in exponential 5 cubed. Okay, one more. Okay, we have 42, and I'm going to go through a couple more tips. One, it ends in an even number, so I'm going to begin with 2. So we have 2 times 21. 2 is prime, so I'm going to circle that. Now we have an odd number, so I'm going to see if 3 divides into it. And I know that 3 times 7 is 21. So the factors of 21 are 3 and 7. And I know they are both prime. And so now let's rewrite it. So we're going to start with the smallest. And then we have 3 and then 7. I hope that helps in setting up a factor tree for prime factorization. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.